everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a home bargains and B&M and a little bit of Primark haul because I've got a few things from Primark to show you from the homeware section. It's a bit of a big haul because I haven't been shopping for a little while so we should be, there should be a lot of goodies here that you might like to see but yeah let's see what I picked up from Home Bargains, B&M and Primark and first of all I think I'm going to start with B&M. When I went into B&M I actually had the kids with me and we spent loads of money down the food aisle. We started with a basket and ended up the shop with a trolley, just put it that way. I'm not going to show you all of the food items though because they're like sweets and stuff like that but I will show you a couple of things. So one of the first things we did get was these refreshers ice pops. If you remember these when you were a kid, you know the two the one that has the split there, these just remind me of my childhood. Um, but yeah, they weren't expensive. Then they were like one pound, I'm sure they were one pound. I mean, I could be so wrong here. I haven't got the, uh, the seat on this, but um, yeah, I just thought it's really hot outside. Well, it's not really hot outside at all. It's spring, looking, the sun's out. The sun's come out and I thought, start stocking up on the ice lollies. And another thing that Isabella did find was these milk straws, the blue raspberry slush puppy ones. So we normally get the chocolate um, ones of these. Harrison really likes them. Um, and it's really good for if you're trying to get your child to drink milk. I used to have straws like this when I was little because I didn't like milk to drink my milk or anything like that either. Um, but yeah, she found these slush puppy ones. So a bit of a novelty one, I think. But yeah, I think these were like a pound. There's quite a lot in there. The next thing that I did pick up, Isabella's got... Um, someone's birthday coming up. She saw these bath bombs. They're just like cupcake looking ones they were four pounds and she said her friend would like these so picked these up the next thing that i picked up from bnm was actually these tea coffee and sugar canisters now i've been needing a new set of these for a very long time on my side i've got these ones that just look rubbish now i think i've got them from poundland i broke one of them and then i've just yeah they look rubbish now so I thought, do you know what? I'm going to pick up a new set. They were $7.99 and Isabella was with me and she was like, just get them, mum. So obviously I was like, yes, you've said to get it. So I'm going to get it, Isabella, of course. Um, but they're like a tin with a wooden thing at the top. So yeah, I just got these ones. They're like a creamy sort of white. And I don't know if you can see any of that because the lighting is shocking in this room today. But on the on there, I've got the initial of the tea, coffee and sugar. And they're just literally simple canisters for my tea coffee and sugar and they were 7 dollars I thought that was a bargain and they were just neaten up my side because I don't know about you but when it comes to spring this is the sort of thing I like to buy I like to refresh like tea coffee sugar canisters I like to refresh bedding and things like that so yeah I've got that um which I've been meaning to get for about a year so so glad I've ticked that off my list then I came around to the beauty section and I saw this there was only one left and I've been thinking about this the other day because I never go and get my nails done like I literally never have time. I'm always running around. I also don't really love the experience of going and getting my nails done. Um, I just I, I sit fidgety and all of that. So anyway, I saw this like acrylic nail set, and it was only four pounds ninety nine, and it's got all of the bits in. And let me see if I can show you because this lighting is the most shocking today on this video. I'm so sorry, but it's got all the bits in like that, as you can see. So it's got the powder and everything else. And it's even got the nail tips, so it's got like the white nail tips here. And I thought, do you know what? For £4.99, I'm going to give it a go because I prefer to do things like that if I've got time at home on a Friday night or whatever. Did it with pampering. I thought, I'll just grab these out and see if I can do them. So I used to be able to do nails, so I should be able to do them. But yeah, for a fiver, less than a fiver, I thought I'm going to try them and try and uh, give myself a bit of a glow up because, you know, I'm sick of not having my nails done, especially when I do hauls. I, you must be like sick of seeing my nails. They look so horrible because I bite them. It's really bad, actually. It's disgusting. Horrible habit. Don't do it. Next thing that I got was actually this heart chopping board sign, whatever, for the kitchen. It said, in this kitchen, happiness is homemade. I thought it was really nice. It was £4. It's wooden, obviously. And I thought I might replace my marble looking chopping board that I put by the tea coffee sugar. I'm not sure yet because I quite like the white on because my sides are obviously wooden like. So I don't know if this is going to go. But I'll either have it maybe stood up somewhere to look pretty. Or I was thinking of replacing that basically to put my cups and that on when I make tea and coffee. And if I don't want to have it up this way, then you can always have it the plain way. Um, so I thought, yeah, why not? Do you know what? 
spruce it up as well. I haven't changed that for a while either. It was only four pounds. So I got myself a new pretty looking chopping board for the side. The next thing that I did get was actually a boring bin. <laughs> so I got this little pedal bin. It's just a small bin, four pound 99 it was. And it's one of those push, I mean, Diana really needs to demonstrate how I use a bin. Um, but I actually got this, it's just an, a boring plain gray. And I got this for um, Isabella in for her room because she has like bits of paper and stuff when she's doing her homework that she might need to get rid of and things like that and it all just sort of lays around. So I just thought that she could do one of these under her desk and it's a slim one so it just doesn't look so bulky and things like that. And I just, she was with me and I just thought, do you want a bin now? So yeah, um, I remember to pick it up. I mean to pick one of these up for a long time as well but again, she was with me so it reminded me. So I did pick up this very boring bin. <laughs> I actually got these, I forgot about these, they were just sitting in the bin, and do you remember these, Twix Tops? So who remembers when these came out when we were younger? I mean, I don't know how old you are watching this, but when I was younger, they had these, and they had, I'm sure, Smarty Ones, did they have Smarty Ones? And all of that, I can't remember how much these were, probably expensive, because they're, you know, limited edition, but they just reminded me of when I was younger, and I had to get them, because I'd not seen these for ages, I think they'd done them as a one-off, a um, bit like probably now, they've probably done this as limited, they'll probably disappear again, but I thought, I'm going to try these again, because they remind me of when I was young. And then we just got a card um, for her friend, so yeah, card. Again, we had Harrison with me, and I was looking down the bedding aisle, and Harrison picked this bedding up. Now, he actually picked up another bedding first, which I'll explain in a second, but he got this one, and it was only £5, I was quite shocked. So it's the, it's got like aliens, I think, and monsters all over them. So a very classic, uh, what boys like bedding. Um, and it looked quite nice, you know, and it's, it's probably going to be quite thin. I mean, I haven't taken it off or anything like that, but it's fine because it's going to be the summer soon and all of that. And it's just nice to have, I've got a bit of an addiction to buying bedding. And like I said, because it's like spring coming up and things like that, I like to replace things like bedding. Um, but yeah, so I got this, it was only five pounds. I mean, that's really affordable, I mean, come on. And he really wanted this, but basically he actually picked up another set, which he has as well, and he's already got it on his bed because he was too wanting to get this, because we got it the up uh, this, we got all this the other day. And it's like a fleecy one with cars all over, and it's lovely, and it's 12, it was 12 pounds, so it was a really good price for like a really fleecy one. But I was a bit like, the reason he got this as well is because I was like, do we not want to get like a cotton, like one that's more um, going to be cooler for the spring summer? And he was like, he really loves blanket stuff, stuff like soft stuff. So he's like, oh, but mummy, like I really want both. <laughs> so I was like, oh, well, you can have both. Because to be fair, if you think about it, it's like how, how much it's like for under, under 20 pounds, he's got two bedding sets. Whereas for us, it's like a minimum of £20 for a bedding set. So I just thought, you know what? You can have both. Um, they are cheaper than ours. So yeah, I've got this monstery looking one for him. Isabella really needed a new set. And I did as well, but I never bought one for me. Um, and I'm wish I think I'm going to go back and get this now because it's the classic one I always get. But Isabella actually chose this one herself. It's the Seersucker Classic White one. It was only £20 for a size double. And I don't know how well you can see that because it's white, but it's obviously that seersucker, um, basically no iron. It's really like good for not having to iron and still looking neat and tidy. But I thought that this was nice and fresh being white bedding. She actually picked it and wanted it. So I thought I was quite shocked really because I thought, oh, kids don't normally pick white, bit white stuff. But I suppose she's getting older and it looks fresh and clean. And I think she's getting the idea of what that looks like in a bedroom. Um, so she wanted this one. So, um, yeah, she picked this one. I like refreshing bedding in the spring. And then I saw this and I saw it and I loved it for me and for Isabella, to be honest. But I, when I saw it, Isabella thought, I've just, it's for me, right? And I don't actually know yet because I haven't put it on the bed. Normally my bed's king size, so it's really hard to get a bedspread to fit it and look nice. But to be honest, I really like the idea of it, Isabella's bed. With that nice bedding, is this uh, bedspread, it's got frills around the edge and it's like quilted, it's very soft and it's like an earthy sort of um, beige nude tone. It was £25, which I didn't think was that bad. Um, 
And again, it just makes the bed look really nice. I really love the idea of this for Isabella's bedroom. It's one of those like bed spreads that looks really pretty and it's so soft. So yeah, I'm gonna see if this looks better on Isabella's bed and if she likes it in her room. I think it will or whether it's gonna go in my room, if it even fits. So the next thing that we got in b &M was actually this slushy maker. Isabella's been asked one of these for ages and she bought it with her own money that she had saved up. And I think, I think this was like 10 pounds or something like that. But anyway, she's been wanting one and apparently it's, in, it's by the chill factor, whatever it's called. Um, and you apparently, you fill it with whatever, no, yeah, you fill it, no, you freeze the, the bottle thing the cup and then you fill it then you squeeze and it and scoop out and scrape and it has all of the frosty stuff all of the slushy type thing i'm sure she's had one of these before but she doesn't remember um but it's probably back when she didn't actually want one you know <laughs> now she wanted one but yeah she's got that she'll be glad to see that I've, well i wasn't meant to even show you that to be honest with you but it was in the bag she hadn't clearly forgot she bought when it bought it so i'm going to tell her about that she'll probably go and make some today okay moving on to home bargains in home bargains i did pick up this spring edition lunar so it's obviously a limited edition i haven't tried this one before i don't know it's, i assume it's new <laughs> this year i'm not sure it probably comes out every spring i'm like i don't actually know at all but i thought it would be really nice to change it up i do like to, to try a new fabric softener and this one actually smells really really nice in loads of washing today because for today for the first time i'm going to be hanging my washing outside and hopefully it dries in the lovely sunshine um which will save money on gas and electric <laughs> so yeah looking forward to that today and then I picked up this really amazing blue uh, toilet cleaner. So I'm sure you really want to see that. Uh, I think it was a pound. Needed some of those, some of that. So I actually went in to get, pick, start picking up some Easter bits. So I've been a bit quiet because the kids are in there. It's actually a Saturday at the moment. I met film this yesterday. But I picked up these Colour Your Own Easter characters. Harrison really loves anything on a, like a pop school stick. So anything that's on a stick that's like, um, he loves puppets and stuff. So anything that I put on that, because he loves to stick things and make them himself, um, he'll love those. So I'm going to put them in like, in amongst his Easter stuff, probably at the start of the holidays for things like that, so that he's got a long time to use them. But yeah, then I picked up this. So that, oh, I'm going to have to get the seat, aren't I? Okay, so these are only 69p. This is what I love about home bargains. They're so affordable, things like this, when you're picking up loads of bits. So I picked up some of them. And then I picked up this Happy Easter balloon. Now the balloon was, so I think this balloon was £1.99. I can't find it on the receipt. But yeah, £1.99 I think that was. And I just thought it's so cute just to put up and make it all nice for them. And then I picked up, this is not even Easter, but yeah, I picked up these white, um, reusable ultra absorbent, absorbent cloths for cleaning they come in a five pack these were i believe five, uh, one pounds i believe uh, but they're quite thick and i just thought that these are quite nice and you know how i've got my organization going on underneath covered and i like the white look for aesthetic purposes i thought these are good because they don't even have the trim color they have all white so i picked some of those up and then I did pick up these lollies. Again, these lollies, lollies were, in fact, they're on the, yeah, 99p, and you get six of them. You get six of them. So they're the Easter lollies, and I thought these are such a good little thing. Kids love them. And then I did pick up some Easter eggs, um, the ones with the foil. Again, they weren't that expensive. And then I also picked up these, which are fake eggs that are like bouncy balls. I'm sure I've probably, they're bouncing eggs. So I probably have bought these before. I think I have, but obviously they've been lost. And I just thought, um, yeah, my kids would love stuff like this to play with. They love things like balls and bouncy balls and they'll just find this hilarious. So yeah, I picked up a bouncing egg that you can actually bounce. Maybe I should put these in an egg carton and then in front of Jonathan, uh, pretend to drop the eggs. <laughs> that would be funny. I'm going to do that. I'm definitely going to do that. You know that, don't you? The thing that I did get from Home Bargains was actually this clear turntable organiser. 
Now, I just, they're good for organising, obviously, and in any cupboard and things like that, but I actually was looking for one of these when I was doing my underneath cupboard, so I was thinking maybe I should have, like, my big bowls at the front on this turntable. I'm going to see if it, if it works, if not, it go in a different cupboard, but it could also possibly work for my utility cupboard for cleaning stuff. But I thought, yeah, it was £2.99 in Home Bargains. Now, I've never seen it that cheap before. Um, it's obviously that clear turntable thing. You can also obviously put it in the fridge and all that. So I've got so many uses. And for 2 99 I thought, you know what, I may as well. When it was like, when I was sitting on Amazon, when I was sitting on Amazon and stuff for like tenons and stuff, I'm like, oh, I'm not really that interested. But 2 99 I'll give it a go, you know? Then in Home Bargains, I love these. I've got a thing for things like this, but I really particularly love these ones. It's these like mirrors. So yeah, they look beautiful. Um, I got, now I need to be able to show these properly. I can't have the light ruin it for me. Hold on, let me see if I can get this right. You see that? You probably see all of the pool that's in front of me through the mirrors, look. <laughs> all of the mess, probably hoping that it does it justice. I'm hoping you can see what these are like, but they were only £3.99 for like one. And I picked up four, I picked up there's two of them, but I picked up four of these, and I originally thought these would be lovely up, again, up, up above my bed, because I've been looking for something up above my bed, like maybe like a picture or something like that to make it look a bit more interesting, but I was never sure, and for 3 dollars I thought I would try these, and I think I'd only need about three up there, but I thought I've got four because I know that I've done this before where I've bought three, I think I've done it in my living room, and really I should have had four. So, and then I can't find it again. So I thought whilst I'm there, and I, worst ways you could put it somewhere else, you know, put one of them somewhere else. But the other idea I had, I literally just bought this for the sake of it. The other idea I had, I don't know where I'm gonna go with this idea, by the way, because I think I might need more if it works. But I, I, I really loved it for my bedroom. But if not, I did also quite like it in here. So if I had like a little bit of a thing going on with maybe a few, or like make it a big wall thing, I'm not sure, I don't know, but I thought it might jazz it up a little bit. I thought it might jazz it up a little bit in this room, but again, I don't know about that, because I might need to get more if I don't like the idea of just having four in here. But either way, these could go so many places, it could go in my bathroom. I just thought £3.99, I loved the design of it, of the mirror, and I, I love stuff like this anyway. I've got them in, similarly in my front room, as you know, and yeah, it just makes it look a little bit more interesting, doesn't it? Um, so I'm going to try them around let you know where I actually put them up. But yeah, they're so, so pretty. The next thing that I got from Home Bargains, I've seen this on Instagram all over the place and I wasn't actually gonna get it when I saw it, but I thought, Do you know what, I might as well. And it is these Easter egg bunny jars. Um, and I just thought, Do you know what, I'm gonna have a little go at them. They were £5.99 pack of two for the glass ones. I got the pumpkin one last year, might as well make it a trend. Um, and I know that they can be hard to get these sort of things. So I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to get them. Um, and yeah, I'll, let's have a little look at them actually. I've not seen them. But I get, I, I do like to put Easter. I had another one that I got from Poundland. I put some Easter eggs in them um, for little snacks and stuff. Kids will enjoy this. Yeah, they are cute. Look how cute they are. And I'll probably put those on my side, on my kitchen side maybe. Or on the table in the middle. Um, and put some of maybe these in them. Or something like that, or the actual ones from, I think I've got them, the Easter, the other ones. But yeah, this is the big one and then you get a smaller one. So that's really, really cute. Look how cute that is. Right, quickly moving on to Primark. I've got a couple of things from there I really wanted to show you. So I picked up this spray, like scent fabric spray. Um, and it's in clean cotton. It is in such a beautiful aesthetic bottle. Look how beautiful this is. By the way, when I do hampers and stuff, how good and nice would this be to add in for a little extra in a hamper for either birthdays or Christmas? It's got, yeah. So it's so, so pretty. It's in the clean cotton. It is really fresh scent. Now, I bought this because I've got one similar that I got from Asda um, for my downstairs toilet. It's just a really nice looking spray bottle um, to have in there if anyone did want to, you know, spray after they've been. Um, and I thought I really would like one for upstairs and I could have gone, got one again from Asda, but I haven't been there. So when I saw this one, I thought that's different again and it's really pretty. So it was only, it was only, it was only three pounds and it just is such a lovely label on it and it just looks so nice. It's a glass bottle 
um, and yeah, it would, I just think it looked so nice in the bathroom. Nice little spray, I've got to take the thing off. And it does, oh, it does smell so fresh. And then I picked up, again going with the bedding theme, I didn't get everything, I still got to get myself some new bedding, but I thought I'll get Isabella some new, I mean we never have, I got Isabella some new pillowcases for the underneath pillowcases, so I thought, because she's got white bedding, I thought her underneath pillowcases, uh, pillows could be like this nice, very spring-like, um, flowery sort of um, pillowcases and theme, I thought it just looked nice against the white. And they were only £2.50 for a pack of two. Um, and it would just jazz up the underneath pillows. We never seem to have enough pillowcases to do the underneath pillows. I don't know. They just get eaten up somewhere. And then I did also get some white ones, which were these ones were only £1.70 because they were the really cheaper ones. But because it's the underneath pillows, I don't really want to spend loads and loads of money um, on them because it's just underneath. And these can be from uh, my room or Harrison's, whatever, because he normally has the jazzy print so he could have like the white underneath. As I got her the pillowcases I also got her the matching sheet because I thought again just jazz it up a little bit um, and for a double it was £6.50 and it's just such a pretty design like how pretty is that? So nice with all the flowers and everything else I thought it's very spring like um, and I'm always getting white plain white sheets and I thought you know what it's probably better to get patterned or coloured because yeah I don't know it probably is and I always get plain white which you know, ends up going all funny. So, yeah, I got these, which I was really happy about. And then I'll just quickly show you a couple of boring things that are not homeware. But I did get some socks, they were three pounds. Very soft these are, but I've never got any socks. I'm always borrowing everybody else's. Don't know why. And then it's the season, tis the season for the 90p Primark flip-flops. So I was so happy to actually pick these up because I knew that, that meant the sun was out. So I got my standard black pair, um, again, the 90, 90p. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna add a little bit of colour this year. I've got pink, because it matches, you know, matches this, so I can wear it with this outfit. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get a bit of a jazzy colour this year. So I picked up the black and the pink um, in my 90p flip flop. So that was everything that I picked up from Home Bargains, B&M and Primark. I hope you enjoyed this haul. It was a bit of a big one. I just hadn't been shopping for a while. Um, and I love buying new things for like spring and all of that. I'm gonna be doing a spring cleaning video with today. So hopefully I'm gonna have that film. That might actually be up before this video. I don't know which way it's gonna go up and um, what, what's gonna go up first. But either way, you'll see both the videos. But I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>